Jared Poland for Nosephoto. Dot com and welcome back to another rapid fire critique where I critique somebody's work out there. In this case, his name was Isaac, who is a student and he signed up for a 15 minute rapid fire recorded critique. And I asked him for permission to share it because I thought the information in this critique could help a lot of you guys out there. Now for a quick background, Isaac is in school and he had some questions about finding his style, his editing, what's he doing right, what's he doing wrong, and what can he do to progress and that's what what this critique is all about. So now let's jump in to his critique. All right, let's jump into your critique, even McCritikerson. I read your email about um, style. Style? You want to find your style? Look, this stuff takes time. So it's all right to like a little bit of everything. Uh, and you don't really need to compare yourself to the other people in the class that you think have style. All you need to do is focus on you and doing what is right for you and what you like and not what someone else tells you they should like or you should like because right off the bat this is very good i like the feel of this shot i like the angle that you have um i like that you captured this light spinning around so this is good you know the color is your choice on this um one thing i'll say is I like to keep things as realistic as possible. That's me personally, because some people will try and make something unique by changing the color and making it different, but that may not make it better in the long run, but this is very good, right? So part of the growing experience is trying different editing until you find something that fits you and what you wanna do. The very good, this is very good. You know, I don't, I don't care about the, the, the the person behind the glass being in focus because that's the whole point is that they're behind this glass i think this is really good uh, just in general so i just i'm just making a little tighter in, in contrast you could stay a little you know in between probably where you're at because the point is that they're behind this glass really good i like this feel and the fact that you like to shoot everything that's not a problem uh the only thing here is you got to watch out for the skin tone so in this case, we're just gonna take out this orange, a little bit of it, and now it looks better. It's not over orangeified, um, but this is fine, right? This is good. I like your stuff that you're getting right now. One thing you could do with this, you could go horizontal, go in, you know, fill the frame a little bit. Uh, you could be at two eight. You know, really, if you have the two eight, you should probably shoot around two eight for something like this. Uh, even though you may have wanted to get both of them in focus. You did a good job. This is good. Yeah, you nailed that. It, 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 it's, it's very good. Uh, 1 250th at 2.8, ISO 125. Perfectly fine. I don't care much about the background. I like that you put the eyes, the main part of the eye in focus above this third line. I'm always looking for that. That's what I like to see, and I don't have to correct you on it, is a good thing. So this is really good. We're off to a really good start here. Obviously, it's very color corrected for a certain style. That's fine. I like that you focused on the back of the camera here. Good composition. We have enough information that we don't lose the background. We can see that we're out on the street. We can see that this is a restaurant of some kind. So that is good. Uh, huh. I was, I, when I zoomed in, sort of we're at 2.8. I'm trying to see if it's, he's nice and sharp i mean that's that's right there i don't know if i like the foot being cut off but i don't hate it i love i really like the feel of it with the lines just i tightened it up just a little bit in terms of contrast um this is very good another really good shot because i i had to stop to look at it um one thing i i think is it possible that you isolated the subject and then maybe softened up the rest of the image i don't know if that's the case but all in all this is really good very nice job all right fitness wise good um color looks good clarity looks good tones look good i don't mind that we, you know because she, she has her knee on the bench that's good it's not too tight where it takes us out of the image and it's just a tight shot of a person working out this is one angle that i would get let's see what the other one looks like um and then maybe do one from a little further back or at 35 millimeters or something like that. So you get the full bench and full body. You can do wides, mediums, tights, details. You have the access to do that, you do it. Um, this is very good. I just wouldn't chop off the feety feets. 
this is one where you could be a little wider and not chop off the feet in that case, but that's good. Perfect composition down here for a street photo. I love the walk. We got seven seconds. We got the green light. There's an arrow going that way. It works well for a street photo. Nice. I really like what you're doing right now. Kodak shirt. It's harder shooting wider for these types, but if you're going to do wide here, I try to get her hand in there. Try not to cut off her arm. Um, this is the stuff we did in school. You always have a model around or just another photographer student around that can help you take pictures. Your colors look good. The background looks good. The lighting's pretty good. So not far off at all. This is really nice. Love all of the different tones and textures. And I think you edited that extremely well. Let me jump in here real quick and say, are you tired of all your friends and families commenting on your images and just saying that they're fire emojis and really have nothing good to say and no feedback? Well, you could do what Isaac did and he signed up for a 15 minute rapid fire critique or you could get a 45 minute live one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me. Now head on over to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship where you can check out examples of a one-on-one -on -one mentorship that's live with me as well as a recorded rapid fire critique and read some testimonials to see that it's more than just this is fire emoji. So if you're tired of that, go ahead and sign up for one of these critiques and let me be your mentor. Now let's get back to the video. The only thing here, I love the motion. If we went even slower, I think if we went to like 1 50th of a second or a quarter of a second, it would make it even more blur of the train, but at least we have that motion already. So that's good. That feels right. So you're doing a very nice job so far. I'm not a fan of street photo. Like I find these street photos that everybody does to be pretty boring. It's just, look, two people walking on a street. Maybe the eye contact works, right? Maybe that's something, but all in all on the street, it's just like mm, street pictures kind of be boring unless you have a storefront and there's people sitting outside at a cafe or someone smoking a cigarette with a reflection in the window and it's an anti-smoking place. I don't know. It's a doctor's office. Like it's finding juxtapositions on the street, not just taking pictures of people walking. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. You can go out and find these shots. You know, a challenge I always give people is sit in one place for 30 minutes. You can't move. You can rotate left and right and spin around if you want, and you can change your lenses, but you can't move. You got to see the world for 30 minutes and see what you capture. Uh, that's a that's a fun assignment. I try not to do too many uh, things if it's a homeless person on the street. I just don't do it anymore because I don't think it just makes it more interesting. It's just it's just it's a homeless person on the street. I'm not saying this person is homeless. Um, they might be, but I try not to shoot too many of those. Uh, that was not as good. It's just like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're laughing because they're smoking or what. It just, there's not a lot going on there. And that's fine. On the street photography, black and white, that works all day. Nice job because it's not too tight where it just doesn't make any sense. We have other protesters or whoever they are out of focus in the background. We've got the building out of focus as well. So I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Obviously something's going on here. I would probably go slightly wider. See, that's nice. See 35, 35 gives you such a nice range. Nice isolation Two eight works well. I like it. Nice job. Perfect composition, really good portrait. Very nice job. See, that's right on. That's a better street photo because you got people walking up from something. We got nice lines. We got the kids looking here. We've got some stuff in the back, in the background, the, the trombones. See, that's much better because it's more interesting than just people walking. Trying to see which police department it is. But this, oh, it's it's New York. It's right there. Yeah, so we can always shoot these guys, photograph these guys. This is a this is a beautiful street portrait. I think you cut it in a good spot. We don't need all of the legs in there. I love that you can still see part of the city in the background. Also, so nail this at five, six, then nail it at two, eight and see what you get. I think this is really good. Also, step back. Give me that 35 millimeter, which is going to be very similar to this with the officer right there. It's a good shot. This is just, you know, people in bubbles. 
I, I, I mean, I like her way, the way her face is lit up. That's cool. Um, but still, it's just people out on the street. That's a cool angle. I like your tones here as well. Just tighten it just a little bit. Let's try to get the person chopping up the meat, chopping up the vegetables, get the steam flowing, go a little wider to get the pre the people waiting, go black and white. So yeah, they just tighter, too tight sometimes just doesn't cut it. Um, but all in all, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So some of the suggestions here, go a little wider, get the street scene. Maybe it's at night and you get some smoke coming out of the grates on the ground. You get some smoke coming up from the, uh, from the whatever they're cooking and how they're cooking it. And then you get a little bit more of the wider scene, maybe even go with a slower shutter speed as random people are walking by, just throwing different tips out here that you could try. I mean, your colors and tones and everything looks fine here. This is, that's one hell of a uh, piercing, but uh, yeah. I mean, that's good. I, I like it. I like the feel of it. I think that works. It's just good. I, I think your stuff is pretty good. I don't know what that is. That, what are those cigarettes? I have no idea. It's interesting. The tones are fine. Think about street photography and going slower. Because if he's sharp and then you get reflections, the reflections are like blurring across and there's people streaking. That's where you can start to add interest. So that's where a street photo becomes better. And it's not just freezing people walking because then it's just blah interesting that person's inside you're outside yeah it's fine i like the creative i like personal i like port uh self portraits like this i'm a big fan of looking at the viewfinder though and not looking at the evf to shoot photos i know that's how we do it is the old school way. Uh, it's just more stable. It's not saying you're not doing a good job. This is this is this is fine for what it is um, for just going out and shooting at night. All in all, there's some really nice stuff here. I would not be disappointed in anything that you're doing. Um, I think you're in a great spot. I think you do have a style. I think you have good photos and that's a better a really good style to have. I mean, this is fantastic. This shot of her is spot on, really good. The city is really good. The person in the shower, really good. This angle, really good. And editing on that is really good. This street photo, really good. This of the cop, really good. So the thing you're getting right is you didn't show me shit, right? You have a lot of really good photos and you didn't just show, you didn't mix in with like a lot of, a lot of bad stuff. You, you, what you showed me, the majority are very good. Right? There's some that could use some tweaking and some diff different tips and ideas. That's why I throw them out here. I think you're in a really good spot. Don't worry about what other people in school are doing. Worry about what you're doing because you're already doing a really good job. And that that's what I have to say. Just, just keep at it. The stuff takes years. You're young. I was there once. I sucked. I think you're doing better at 18 than I was doing at 18. Um, it just look, you can progress so much faster today than when I was shooting film because you're constantly able to try things. The technology is there to help you, um, but you can't rely on the technology to make you better because you still need to be good to utilize the technology. I love the street photos of this cop and I like the street photo of the skateboarder. I would continue to look for stuff like that and also start slowing that shutter speed down to try and get some interest on those outside ones, not on the portraits all the time, but just play around and the rest will happen. It takes time, but you did, you're did. you doing a really good job, so keep it up. So I really do think Isaac is in a really good place. See, when I'm doing these critiques, I take into consideration where this person is as a photographer. If they're in school, I'm gonna critique it a certain way because they're not a 20-year professional. You're gonna critique somebody else's work a lot different, but in this case, I think there's a lot of potential here. I love the types of images that he was creating, and it's gonna take time to find that style 
and the editing style, but that's totally fine. It took me like 15 years to get out of auto, you know, using aperture priority mode. It just takes time, but having a good start and having some positive feedback is always going to be helpful. So again, if you'd like to sign up for a 15 minute rapid fire critique with me or a live one-on-one -on -one 45 minute mentorship, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship to sign up for that today. So thank you very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.